Hello YouTube, I'm here today bringing you another Gary's Mod tutorial. This time on how to set up an ACF car with wire mod and having suspension. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a base for an ACF car with suspension and steering. It is currently ready to go for ACF. I will now go there. Let's begin. So we have our car all set up and proper ready to go. The next thing we want to do is make sure our weights are correctly done. In the last episode, I forgot to set the weight on my main prop. The next thing we want to do is go to ACF menu or ACF custom if you have that installed. Go to mobility and go to engines and select an engine you feel fits the size of your vehicle. For this, I'm going to go with a V6 normally for trucks, but I believe this will work just fine for what we're doing. I want to get a nice size one for this size of a prop. You can easily do this by clicking on the center. While it won't necessarily be properly aligned, it's very easily fixed with precision alignment or fizz gun build mode. Fizz gun build mode is what I prefer to use when setting up things for um, ACF because the Models can sometimes be very weird. Fizz gun build mode can help a lot. You can find all of the add-ons except for ACF on the workshop. If you want to subscribe to my collection of add-ons, be warned that is almost a hundred something mods, and it is for my server which I'm currently on. But I have enabled fizz gun build mode for this tutorial. As you can see, I've already almost centered it because I'm very good at that. And I have put the engine like this. Now that the engine is centered, you're going to want to put it back a little bit because you're going to have a gearbox. So let's put it back here. I think that'll be fine. Make sure it's still centered. As having a centered engine can help with steering because if it's centered, the vehicle doesn't pull in any specific direction. Next, you're going to go back to your ACF menu and go to and gearboxes under mobility. Select the speed that you want. For this tutorial, I'll be doing a six speed medium inline. Pay attention to the torque rating. The torque rating on this is 993 foot pounds. On this, it is 354 foot pounds. This will work perfectly fine. But if I were to use the smaller tiny, it would not work properly because this is a smaller torque rating than the engine can output. So let's attach this reasonably to the vehicle. Now that your gearbox is in place, you're going to want to select a differential small under differential differential small the reason I'm not matching sizes is because one this vehicle is very big and two it doesn't matter because it's going from a gearbox to a gearbox make sure you have enough space for the wire to come from out this to this and try not to have a very eccentric drive shaft angle as it will not allow you to do that. For your front prop you're going to want this part of the gearbox to be pointing down towards the ground if this is the front of your vehicle. Position it so it has enough space. Bring it down a little bit. Make sure Position it where you want. It doesn't have to be exactly correct. But for this tutorial I'll be doing that. Now that that's in place, we need another one. Unless you want front wheel drive or back wheel drive, I'm going to do four wheel drive for this tutorial. Put this in the center of the back of your vehicle. Once in place, you can go ahead and weld all these things together. It's easily done with the multi weld tool or weld smart, but this can also be done with regular weld. Make sure everything that is moving is green, 
except for your wheels. We don't want those welded. In your settings of this, make sure you have no collide and auto freeze set. Once everything that is an engine part is green, right click on your base prop. There you go. Those are properly welded to the base prop now. And that's how complicated setting up ACF is. The next thing you need to do is go to your um, fuel tanks. That's one thing I actually forgot to do, my bad. Select a fuel tank that is appropriate for the size of your vehicle. This one will work as I'm not going to be putting a seat on this, but I can show you how to do that very soon. You're going to need fuel for your vehicle to work properly. I'm sorry I forgot to put this on earlier, but make sure everything is green again. For the fuel tank, this part will turn green. And click on your base plate and right click. And there you go. That's an ACF vehicle without being wired up. The next thing you're going to do is wire everything up. So go back to your ACF menu and we're going to link everything that needs to be linked. Go from the engine to the fuel tank, make sure that it says link successful at the bottom right, and go from the engine to the drive shaft to the differ the differential inline. Go from the inline to the differential in front, inline to the differential in back, all the differentials to the wheels. And I'm right clicking by the way, to the wheel, to the wheel. And that's completely set up with ACF. That's the last thing I need to do with the ACF tool. Now go to wire and click wire advanced. Then you need to wire the vehicle's active to active on here or a an ignition setup if you know how to do that. Throttle to the E2 ACF setup tool throttle. And then gear up. I prefer mouse one. Gear down, I prefer mouse two. Brake, doesn't work on this one. You have to change it here. Brake can go to S or space in my opinion. Brake to the same button as the front brake. And that is a setup vehicle and it will work now. So let's go ahead and test it. Make sure you have everything copied. Press R on your vehicle once. And with ACF, with having a lighter prop, the vehicle will bounce a little bit more because it's heavier and the wheels haven't been changed weight or anything like that. I do like how bouncy it is. In my opinion, it looks really nice. If having a front weight bothers you, you can set up a counterweight. But with the remote control, I'm going to demonstrate this works. Now, as you can tell by the sound, the gearbox isn't set up completely. And to set it up is very simple and also very complicated. To set up an, a gearbox that you've already placed down and you forgot to set up like I did, you simply go to ACF menu, select the same gearbox, 6 speed, medium, go to your settings down here and change your settings. For this vehicle in particular, I prefer to have final drive at 1, while I still don't entirely know what these settings are supposed to be do be for but final drive at one and all the settings at normal makes me feel good yes <laughs> so i'm going to demonstrate how that works oh forgot to face it but with gearboxes it's pretty much just experimenting with what works and what doesn't until you feel satisfied with what you have. So this vehicle works and it can be very easily set up to be worked with a seat by simply attaching a seat. I'll do it on this vehicle because I'm lazy. 
get a standard pilot seat or any chair from regular Gary's mod. And um, put it where you want it. I'll have mine right here. And make sure to weld everything. And the next thing you need to do is go to pot controller. Right click on the pod controller and then right click on your seat. What just happened? Right click on the pod controller and right click on the seat. There we go. Now the seat works with your vehicle. And I want to stress that you don't have to create a vehicle like this. You can create a vehicle with three wheels with the same exact settings I've shown today. I will demonstrate what I mean by showing you some of the creations I've already done with the same exact settings I've used today. I will save this here as tutorial vehicle. tutorial car since I don't know how to spell all right so the next thing I'll show you is my go-kart that I've created using a small engine and some props this e2 is was given to me by a friend and I don't think he created it but you can find it probably by searching the name that came up in the bottom right this engine turns on when I click on this prop, this button here. Now it's on. The gearbox system's been set up properly for this vehicle, so it goes very slow. Also, it's a tiny engine. I have an RC car that I created. This is probably my first, like, actually modded, modeled car with a roll cage and everything, and material in the six years I've played Gary's Mod. Oh wow, I actually forgot to color that. That's embarrassing. For some reason, this one takes a while for it to be pasted. In the meantime, I can't show you anything because of how Advanced Supergator works, but I can get this one ghosted already. Actually, no, I can't. By far my favorite of the things I've created, and with the help of one of my friends, Anonymize Tech, we created this. <laughs> the very unreliant Robimin. Um, I have to have these, otherwise the vehicle will fall over, and I haven't, I don't have any stabilizing chips, so, yeah. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you this first. This is just a small scale version of what I did before on the tutorial. This one's gearbox has been properly set up and for high prop things like the roll cage, multi-parenting is almost ex definitely needed. Multi-parenting, eh, well, that happens sometimes. Oh, unfortunately, I just crashed the server with an error because I had physgun build mode on and things go wrong when you touch props that have certain things going on and also the fact that I have hundreds of add-ons on this server can lead to that. I'm going to cut to when I can actually use the Reliant Robber Bin and show you what it is. So here is the Reliant Robber Bin. It has been modeled correctly, I mean materialized correctly, but it has a working mile per hour and a working RPM and is started by pressing the reload key. 
got a very nice engine sound. It leans when it turns, and that's the reason I need the balls to keep it from falling over. But it is still very possible for it to flip anyways. It turns with the back wheel, which is only one, and it is powered by the front wheels. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I hope you have fun making your own vehicles in the future, and try to come up with something crazy like I did. Well, I'm sure that some person has created something crazier than mine. I still had a lot of fun creating that. So, in the interest of time, I'd like to wish you farewell, and have a nice day. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe.